hello guys welcome to my channel at my fx right here so today i'm gonna show you guys how to set up your derive trading view with these three easy steps how to get access to your to your derive trading view how to save your chart and how to also organize or modify or to have a watch list okay so without further ado if you're new to this channel please do well to click on the subscribe button click on the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you could be notified on every new content educational for us content that we drop so we will do appreciate that without further ado let's head over to the business of the day so you have to, to get access to your dev trading view you just go to your browser and you type trading view okay trading view dot dev okay I already have a bookmark on my browser you see trading view dot dev Dot com okay tradingview.dev.com and it's going to open all right so this is how the trading view the dev trading view actually looks uh, it looks nice and um, before now so that's step one actually now you have access to your dev trading view so how you can also um it's actually been a problem in recent times because uh some weeks back uh, we were not able even to currently though you, you may be finding it kind of difficult to save chart save your chart on the dev trading view like maybe making drawings okay you may be making drawings or after doing your analysis you tend to close your dev trading view and come back and you discover that all the analysis all the drawings that you had had wiped out or it wasn't saved actually but just like the one of uh, the normal um, trading view it saves itself automatically you don't have to click on any save button or do um, that much but it's different here kind of different here on the dev trading view you have to actually save those informations that you have okay like now you see we have some trend lines here okay now you see we have some trend lines here so some support and resistance that I've drawn here so let's go over to let's let's reload okay let's go to another chart let's go to like our v10 let's go to our v10 okay if you come back to the v25 you see you still have it okay see you still have the chart there this is because yeah, you still have the chart there but if let's say like in a fail in the case of a failure of network or or you just had to close the whole day of trading via and come back or you have mistakenly reload your page if you do reload this page and come back you see that the, all those drawings we had won't be there anymore okay you see we were on um daily time frame v25 see all those drawings now have gone they have reloaded the page all the drawings have gone has disappeared so let's do same let's let's try it out and show you guys okay so we draw some labels we draw some labels put some lines okay put some trend lines put some trend lines so let's see if this will actually save okay so if we reload this page okay we mistakenly reload it or close it okay and you come back to your your v10 uh, you see it will disappear okay same one at time frame all those drawings we have here are not there so how can you how can you work on this what's the solution okay so this is the solution actually when you want to make those drawings or while doing those drawings just when doing your analysis okay so when doing your analysis just like we did now so we some, you have some labels being drawn here randomly though it's not like an analysis though we are just drawing some random lines okay so if you want to while doing when you're done with your analysis if you want to save here you see initially before we did not used to have the save icon but now you can see we now have a save icon okay but if you toggle around there you see it's going to raise right there it's written there save all charts for all symbols and intervals on the layout so apparently that means if you are saving this chart you are saving it for the interval of um, daily time frame okay so each time you come if you click on the save button here you click on save okay so this is going to pop up so you can see um you can just type the v10 you can just type 
the name of the chat v10 copy so i'll use copy actually because i already have v10 on my watch list so see now it's being said v10 copy so even though we have to reload this page and come back you see we still have the drawings on the chat okay okay um okay if you come back actually you you will not have the drawings on the chat until you have to go and check it through your watch list so now we have shown you how to save okay now we have shown you the second step how to save your chat so in the process of how to save your chat you can also save or check it through your watch list so while doing these drawings you can now go to same place that you saw that save icon you see a little drop down button there click on it you see low chat layout okay so under low chat layout you are going to see the v10 copy that we did this is the v10 copy so you come there to open you see those drawings that we did initially is going to show so this is the same drawing that we did initially which is now showing so actually that's how to save your chat even though you have to reload the page and stuff it will still remain the same you see always it will make it easier that you don't have to be analyzing the chat every every day or every week i just do this once in a week for my chat and all i just wait for is price to come around those areas and i trade from those areas so now how can you create your watch list how can you create your watch list from the Derive trading view um, it's actually a very nice feature it's actually a very nice feature because the normal traditional way that we do is to come to this area here this area here where all the chat and we'll be looking for now we start searching for the pay that we wanted to trade let's say is a is a boom and crash that we wanted to trade we now search it and start you no know, but this way the new update from the Derif platform can now allow us to save a watch list yes yes before the watch list too there's another mistake people do make okay there's another mistake people do make concerning this you see here while you're saving the watch list um you're saving your chart you see here it's still showing us v75 v sorry v10 copy and uh, 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 initial v10 copy so if while you're trading now we are on v25 and you were doing an analysis on v25 too okay you did your analysis on v25 and you mistakenly had to click here or you purposely you have to click here you had to click here now you see we just clicked on that v10 copy to save that's place that we had our save icon if you if you have to reload the page now instead of it to show you the not the initial v10 analysis which we did okay the initial v10 analysis which we did now it has override the initial v10 analysis and it will be showing the v25 analysis okay so if we reload this and we come to that place that drop down where you have that save we check for our v10 instead of it to show us our v our initial v10 which we did is going to show the v25 analysis which is here see so how can you how can you avoid this mistake okay if you want to make a copy you, you if you want to save a different chart you have to come to that place like now we have the v10 okay let's go back to our v let's go back to our v10 the drawings should still be there okay the drawings are still there so now you know our v10 has been override our v10 has been override by this copy okay so our v10 has been override by this copy so all we just have to do is let's go back to the v25 all we just have to do is come to that drop down there click on it then we we have to rename this now to v25 okay we have to rename this to v25 okay so that it will not be confusing so while we go back to our v10 and that of v10 we now 
make a copy so now you are seeing it's showing us v25 if we also mistakenly or purposely click this v25 here it's going to load us v10 okay so to avoid this mistake what you have to do is if you want to make um, numerous copies or several copies all you just have to do is click on that drop down there make then click on make a copy okay so what you do is clean it just edit it and rename it to v10 okay so now the two is going to be saved separately so we will now make, have a v10 copy and a v25 copy so this is our v10 copy and we we'll also have our v25 copy if you come to that drop down click on load chart layout you see we now have v10 copy and we have v25 copy separately saved separately okay so now we have our analysis still being saved on the v10 copy and a v25 copy that way you won't have so each time you want to create a new so still that's still the same way you can use in creating your watch list okay so if i want to create a watch list for instead of coming down here to scroll all this and you want to make analysis let's say you want to do for boom 1000 okay and you want to create your watch list all you just have to do is just do your analysis do your analysis your train lines whatever however so we are just doing a random stuff here okay so all you just have to do now is if you want to create a watch list just still keep on coming to that drop down area click on make a copy okay make a copy and now we are going to have a copy of rename it to boom 1000 boom 1000 okay boom 1000 copy save it okay so now if we go to that drop down button there we are going to see all the copy watch list that we had okay we have our boom 1000 copy we have our v10 copy and our v25 copy okay so if you want to make this your watch list all you just need to do is click on the add to favorite if you hover your mouse around that star icon there you are going to see add to favorite so you just click on add to favorite you click sel select them to add to favorite you see it's going to take them to the top okay so each time you have to probably let's say you close your browser let's just close the browser come back okay come back you can always have access to a world arranged watch list okay that you don't have to start going to this drop down and looking for all the pace and and stuff so rather anytime you come back to your pc you can just come low chat you see your watch list are already well arranged this is the v25 we had the v10 we had and the boom 1000 let's click on it you see everything still remains set okay this is these are the drawings we did and we had the v10 same with the v10 and same with the boom 1000 okay so actually this is how to get access to your boom 1000 sorry this is how to get access to your derive trading view how to save your charts and also have how to create a watch list from the derive trading view another thing there are also shortcuts too if you want to make a shortcut like you want to save on a shortcut you can just click on a control yeah. see if you are on a macbook you can click on a control s okay if you want to load chart there are easy short shortcuts you just click on the dot so that's what i just clicked click on control s and it's going to save automatically so there are also shortcuts to doing that so if you found this if you found this useful Please do well to like, share, and uh, subscribe to our channel. Turn on post notifications so that you could always be notified on uh, each educational forex content like this that we do draw. And we also have a, a Telegram community which we post uh, free Telegram stuff, free signals. As you can see here, we posted free signals which benefited a lot of people and people made a lot of money 
from it and we we do all this all for free so if you're interested this you can click on the description or link on the description below to join our telegram community is our profit all made from people on on the group through our free signals okay so if you're a new subscriber do us a subscribe click on the link on the description below to join our telegram community there we do pro post free stores all right without further ado it's your boy and my fx see you on the other side